Komatsu, Sandvik, those kind of uh, suppliers. They are all willing and they've got good product. Um, some of the equipment is... Talking Gold with Live Gold and today I have here Percy who is the mine manager of Live Gold. Can you shortly explain where we currently are with the project from your view and where you would like to take it in the future? Well, like I've shown you outside, um, the pits, everything is basically there. Um, the chief geologist explained to you as well, we've got a fairly good understanding of what is where. So from here on, general manager told you we will do some works before we start up next spring. And this is basically all linked up. So the whole idea is if we fine tune all our knowledge and then move with that forward. All right, perfect. And you've actually been with this project for quite a while. Uh, with the previous owner as well. What are you going to do differently this time compared to last time? Well, this is the thing. In the previous operations, um, we did start with a lot of debt over our heads, which we don't have currently. And um, now we've got a little bit of time on our sides to fine tune all the knowledge we've got and train people and get everything in line for, for the next startup. And we've of course seen the massive pile of stockpiles uh, next to the processing facility. And previously they were seen as low grade, but you have a different belief, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Um, the pile is quite huge. It's close to 3 million tons. Um, it's close next to the, the process plant, like you said. There's a lot of knowledge done historically 2015 that proves that there is quite good grades in that way, a low grade stockpile. So further, actions will be where we analyze some of it in our on-site lab and start with processing that as well in uh, when we start up. And during the last couple of days you basically described that as free ore if I'm correct because it's not really taken up in the six to seven years we're expecting from the NI43-101, correct? That's correct. So the NI43-101 is the mine plan is set out seven years. We've, we can mine from the pits as they are currently. Um, this free ore, like I phrased, is, uh, is out of the picture basically, and it's sitting there blasted. We don't have expenditures that we need to, to extract it. So it's fairly, already done. Yes, you would literally just grab it up in an excavator, throw it to the plant, and then out That's comes gold. Yes, and also that 3 million ton is roughly one to two years of running this processing facility, correct? That's correct, yes. But obviously we're not going to use only that material. We will have a you know, fairly well worked out blending ratio that we will have a consistent feed to the plant. All right, because this pile is lower grade than what you would get out of the pit. That's correct, yes. We assume it's lower grade. If you take the overall, it's lower grade. And then of course, this time around, you're actually taking the time to set up a good plan before you start mining. And we've talked about how previously you would just run the processing facility to the max and just throw ore in there. Now you're actually taking a different approach, that's correct? That's correct, yes. We've got the time now to finalize everything that we couldn't in the past. We've got the time to set up proper contracts with mining contractors, with suppliers, get basically not just contracts, but get business partners in this whole operation. Then we can, with that all in one motion, go forward after training is done, after everything is in place. Now, there's of course always a choice you have to make as an operational mine. Contractors or buying your own equipment and running that. What is the current state of Life of Gold? What are the plans? Well, if you look in the global market, you, there's quite a long lead time yeah, getting some equipment. We have had some suppliers come and visit us. Um, a lot of them wants to be business partners with us as is. Komatsu, Sandvik, those kind of uh, suppliers. They are all willing and they've got good product. Um, some of the equipment is almost readily available and obviously some there will be a, a bigger lead time. Now, obviously the startup with your owner minor principle is you need much more money um, than with a contractor. And so thinking we will start off with a contractor in the beginning, um, ramp up, and short-term periods only. And then from there on, have a better understanding on what the mole can do, what is needed, and satisfy all parties involved. You told me previously that you're a big proponent of acquiring that own equipment. Uh, and then, because it also allows you to run the plant more efficiently and make the right decisions because your incentives between the team that's getting the stuff out of the ground and putting it to the plant are better aligned, correct? That's correct. Having always the point of view business is a business, contractors is a business and they need money and that's what their business is with all due respect. And owner minor 
you can work more delicately with the product, um, still get good results and much better throughput through the plant and better quality.